Okay, we're with Russ, product manager for Topo, and he's going to cover some trail shoes with us and then some road. Go ahead, Russ. What do we got? Thanks, Sam. So I wanted to start by telling you guys about our new Mountain Racer 3. This is a product we're really excited about this season. Um, of course, the Mountain Racer 3 is an update to the Mountain Racer 2 and is still positioned as the product in the Topo line for the person who's looking for a cushion option to run quickly over technical terrain. This update was all about adding some more protection underfoot without adding too much weight to the product. With the Mountain Racer 2, people really love the fit. The signature Topo fit that they found on the product, a nice roomy toe box and a locked in midfoot and heel. On this, however, uh, we did hear some feedback from our athletes as well as some of our ambassadors and customers that they were looking for a little bit more protection underfoot once they were getting up into their longer ultra distances. However, we didn't want to add a rock plate to the product because we felt that might start to reduce the runnability and the nimbleness of the shoe. So instead, we've increased the stock height slightly. Mm. So it's now three millimeters higher at a 33 to 28 millimeter stack height Very as nice. opposed to the 30 25 yep. of the previous version. Um, we've also started to use our new zip foam here. This zip foam is softer, it's more lightweight, and more rebound than the previous version, our previously tuned version. We first introduced this foam on the Ultra Venture 3, which has had a solid reception so far, so we're really excited to be bringing it into the Mountain Racer as well. Moving into the outsole of the shoe, it still has that signature Topo outsole for technical trail, uh, using Vibra Mega Grip here which offers excellent traction and slip resistance on a wide variety of conditions, so it's perfect for use in technical terrain. The upper is a tightly woven mesh, so keeping dirt and debris out of the shoe with a good amount of abrasion resistance while locking the foot in over the platform. As with all Topo Athletic Trail products, it is, of course, gator compatible. Excellent gators, yes. Yeah, with the two ports here in the heel, yeah. and then the D-ring at the base of the top. Excellent. and. Uh, uh, Price and when will it release? Yeah, so and wait if you if you can. Sure. Uh, so get, in a men's nine, uh, this product is going to weigh 10.1 ounces. Oh, very light. Yeah. yeah so the previous version was uh, 10.0. So we we added yep. about a tenth of an ounce while going up in stack height. So we're we're pretty happy with that. Um, and it'll be coming out in June and retailing for $150. Excellent. You got another one to show us? Would you like I to do. show? Me? Okay. Let's what else go we got? Straight into it. So we Do also another one. have our new Terra Venture 4. Terra, okay. Another product that's going to be coming in June and retailing for $135. So Terra Venture is the outdoor do-it-all shoe within the Topo Athletic Trail line. It's sort of our run to hike shoe. Oftentimes customers are looking at the Terra Venture for um, shorter trail runs. Uh, to put a rough number on it, generally 15 miles down. Oftentimes for ultra distances, people gravitate more towards a more cushioned option like Mountain Racer or Ultra Venture 3. Terra Venture, on the other hand, offers a bit more ground feel and is a bit more nimble on the trail. It has a three millimeter drop, 25 to 22 millimeter platform, but does use a four foot rock plate to provide some more additional protection when you're out on technical terrain. Like the Mountain Racer, it uses a full length Vibra Mega Grip outsole, offering excellent traction and slip resistance on a wide variety of terrain. Moving on to the upper, it has a split mesh upper, so you have that nice tightly woven mesh up in the forefoot. Uh, plenty of abrasion resistance and durability here. And then on the rear foot, it's a more open mesh just to um, add some more breathability, mm -hmm. drainage, and airflow throughout the shoe. Just a, a bit mm -hmm. more comfort. Mm -hmm. um, you'll also see that on the upper mesh, we've reduced the um, microfiber bands on the previous version of the shoe in favor of this PU print, delivering a really soft and seamless fit a secure and seamless fit to lock the foot in over the platform. Um, another update here is just the midsole. Part of it is aesthetic, of course, trying to make it a bit faster and more dynamic. But we've also seated the heel a bit deeper inside of the midsole platform. So it's a bit more inherently stable, especially when coming downhill. Excellent. So uh, so we it's available price. I think you mentioned that. but. Uh, yeah, so we got this all this will be coming in June. Okay. And, and we'll be retailing for $135. Thank you.